You know dieting doesn't work, but you're looking for a solution to overeating and emotional eating that is going to work. And that's why I'm so excited to tell you today about intuitive eating, which is quite honestly a revolutionary program that does work and is backed by science. Stay tuned throughout this video and you'll learn the five reasons that intuitive eating is the answer to all of your binge eating challenges. On this channel, you'll learn the science behind why you overeat and take home tangible strategies that you can use to help with your relationship with food and your body. If this sounds like just what you need, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell in the corner so you never miss a video. I publish every Wednesday. I'm Meredith McKenzie of Parallel Wellness. I'm a registered clinical counselor and intuitive eating coach. I've helped hundreds of women who are struggling with poor body image and loss of control with food to attune with their hunger and fullness cues from their bodies and make peace with food so that they can go on and fully participate in their lives. If we're going to talk about how intuitive eating can help you do a 180 from where you currently are, where you're thoughtfully monitoring all your food, but somehow still losing control and overeating, to get to a place where you have a healthier relationship with food, it doesn't really rule your day, and you're able to make peace with it and you know enjoy food, but also live your life fully, we're going to have to understand a little bit more about intuitive eating. I recorded a video on the 10 principles of intuitive eating, which you can watch here if you want to learn more about that first. Essentially, and very, very basically, intuitive eating is a process of returning to your body's innate ability to listen to its cues of what it needs and then responding accordingly. So you eat when you're hungry and you stop when you're not hungry. Sounds easy, right? No, no, I know that it's not easy, but it is possible when you gradually implement the 10 principles of intuitive eating. Throughout this video, I'm going to be referring to several specific research studies. So I'm going to provide links to them in the description box down below if you'd like to have a look and read more of them. First, intuitive eating repairs your natural attunement to your body's needs. And research has shown that infants as young as six weeks all the way to young children have this natural ability to attune to what their body needs as well as compensate based on how much energy they're getting from their diet. They're able to self-regulate their food and compensate and adjust as they're getting different amounts of food or burning different amounts of energy throughout the day. Pretty smart, huh? However, for many of us, these natural abilities are disrupted throughout childhood by parental control or messaging about how, when, and how much food we should be eating. And this is negatively associated with the child's ability to self-regulate their intake. In the long term, research has found that children of parents who impose restrictive eating styles on them actually have a higher likelihood of eating when they're not hungry and have a higher BMI later in life. So the number one way that intuitive eating will help you shift from what currently feels like you eat well for a certain amount of time, but then you lose control and you end up overeating or even binge eating is that it'll help you reattune to your body's needs. And that includes your hunger, your fullness, your movement needs, your nutrition needs, and even your emotional needs. All that requires you to have trust in the cues that your body's giving you. And research has found that women who trusted their body's cues actually engaged less in unhealthy and extreme weight loss strategies. Finally, if you can relate to that looming pressure of feeling like you need to exercise, even though you don't really like it or you don't find it enjoyable, intuitive eating has been associated with exercising for pleasure and for internal motivation rather than external pressures that you might feel from diet culture or concerns about how your body looks or feeling like you need to change your body in some way. Picture this, you are going for a hike, you're walking, you're going swimming, riding your bike, doing that exercise class, whatever it is that you truly enjoy because you like it, because it makes you feel good, because you have a good time while you're doing it, and not because you think you should or because you feel guilty about it. I know that it sounds counterintuitive, but when you finally let go of those external controls and start listening to your body, what it needs and what it's telling you, you're able to start listening and eating in a way where you're eating not past fullness and you're not restricting yourself anymore. So you're listening to your body more as an intuitive eater, but how does this impact your relationship with your body? Well, intuitive eating actually increases your body and food satisfaction. And you might be asking, wait a minute here. So you're telling me that I can actually feel better about my body and eat what I want. 
The simple answer is yes. Across 24 studies from 2004 to 2015, intuitive eating was consistently linked with positive body image and greater emotional functioning overall. More specifically, body appreciation, which is how much you value your body um, just for as it is, was significantly linked to intuitive eating. As well, weight stigma or lower weight stigma was associated with intuitive eating, which is the internalization of the belief that if somebody is in a larger body, that they're less than somebody who's in a smaller body. So intuitive eating actually helps to not internalize or protect yourself from internalizing that weight stigma. And you might notice that you sometimes catch yourself checking how your body looks or how much space you take up. And intuitive eating is also associated with resistance to weight surveillance or body surveillance. If you can relate to feeling stuck in this limbo of wanting to potentially give dieting one more try, but also recognizing that dieting doesn't really work for you and it's probably also a part of the problem, comment below and let me know what most people don't seem to understand about your experience with overeating and binge eating. What I found to be most impactful for my clients is that intuitive eating helps stop binge eating. And you might be asking, okay, how is it possible that I can let myself eat what I want and not lose control? And I get it. You might have to see it. You might have to live it to really believe it. Beyond binge eating, intuitive eating has over and over and over again been linked to decreased disordered eating behaviors. And this is something that really got me to adopt intuitive eating, not only into my work with clients and the clients that I work with who struggle with disordered eating and eating disorders, including binge eating, but also into my own eating challenges that I experience. These results include improved attitudes about food and eating, less restrained eating, less preoccupation about food and you know those constant thoughts that you're having about what my next meal is gonna be and should I be eating that or shouldn't I be eating that, um, more balanced eating behaviors and less bulimic or binge eating behaviors, which that's a huge list. A long-term study found that intuitive eating actually helped improve disordered eating behaviors over an eight-year period, which just goes to show that intuitive eating is not just like some other diet where you're constantly yo-yoing up and down or going back and forth. These results are consistent across all types of life circumstances and populations, including athletes and non-athletes, people in different body types, people of all different ages, ethnicities, races, sexual identities, and sexual orientations. Now, you probably recognize that beyond just the act of eating, your relationship with food in your body is linked to so many other factors, including your mental health. And intuitive eating is also associated with improved overall mental health. Intuitive eating has been linked to improved self-esteem, self-compassion, unconditional self-regard, responsiveness to internal bodily sensations, greater life satisfaction, optimism, perceived social support, parts of high depressive symptoms. And now you might be asking, how can approach to eating do all of that for your mental health? Well, that's because intuitive eating is about so much more than food. It's about your relationship with yourself beyond just your body. It's about listening to and trusting the cues that your body is giving to you and responding and giving yourself what you need, really taking care of yourself. Ultimately, all this impacts your relationships at work and school life, your relationships with other people, and how you feel about yourself as a human being. One of the biggest misconceptions that I often hear about intuitive eating is that if you allow yourself to eat anything and everything, you will eat anything and everything, you'll never eat anything healthy, and you'll completely destroy your physical health. Now for me, one of the biggest concerns that I feel as a clinician is when clients come to me and they have been misled that they need to be changing the size of their body in order to be healthy, which it's simply not true. In actuality, intuitive eating improves your physical health regardless of your body weight and size. If you stick around long enough, you will learn that I am not the biggest fan of BMI and the emphasis that the health community has put on this very simple number. However, for those of you who are concerned about BMI or think that this is something that's important, know that intuitive eating is actually inversely linked to BMI compared to other people who don't eat intuitively. Other health indicators such as improved blood pressure, blood lipids, and dietary intake are also associated with intuitive eating. 
Aligned with intuitive eating, health at every size, which supports your health based on the behaviors that you actually engage in, regardless of your weight, has actually been associated with decreased total cholesterol, but it also an increase in those good cholesterols, lower triglycerides, as well as lower systolic blood pressure. All of these results were sustained over a two year period with increased improvements from year one to year two. So those are five ways that intuitive eating helps you to stop binge eating and find freedom from food in ways that you probably weren't even thinking. Now I have a freebie for you to help you understand your eating style and how your habits might be impacting why you overeat. So click the link in the description box down below to take my free quiz. If you're now curious about intuitive eating and how it might help you to stop the binge eating cycle as an intuitive eater, I am excited to announce that the doors are officially open for enrollment for my signature program, One Body to Love. This is a virtual, small, intimate group program for women who struggle with emotional eating and binge eating so that you can find body respect and freedom from food. To learn more, click the link in the description box down below to book a call with me. I can't wait to talk to you. If you're catching this after our doors have closed, I invite you to put your name on the list to join our next cohort. If you found this video helpful, let me know by giving it a like and subscribing so that you don't miss any future videos published every Wednesday. Now go ahead and share this video with a family member or a friend or anyone who you think could benefit from understanding how intuitive eating is beneficial and how it could help with overeating.